Chapter 6 What the fuck? Kagayama replied instantly, frowning at the hair-colored haired girl. You play tennis. You've never even played volleyball. Folding her arms, Wayan retorted, You saw that I can serve just fine, so teach me how to spike. This is one of the worst ideas I think you've ever had. He deadpanned. And you're not exactly the master of good decisions. Pretending to be hurt, she rolled her eyes before suddenly lunging forwards and grabbing Kageyama's jacket lapels, pulling him down a little so she could look him in the eyes. Come on, please. Both of them found themselves blushing at the close proximity, but Wyan refused to let go, staring with determination in her eye-colored eyes. Sighing exaggeratedly, the setter caved in. Fine, but if you suck, you're buying my milk for the next week. But if I don't, she retorted, smirking as she wheeled the cart of volleyballs over, you're buying me meat buns from Sakanoshita for a week. Deal. Deal. Wayan threw the ball to Kageyama as though it was a netball with a neat chest pass. He spun it in his hands as he considered how to teach her one of the hardest and most essential parts of volleyball in a few short minutes before they had to pack up. Finally, in his genius way, he had an idea. What's... what part of tennis is closest to a spike? He asked the Kadayama champion, who propped her hands on her hips as she thought. I think it's... the serve. It's a similar motion and follow-through, though in tennis we also have overheads, which are spikes at the net. However, a serve is the closest movement and the most used. Kagayama tossed the ball back to Wayin, his constantly inexpressive face and not budging from an impassive glance. Then, think about holding this ball in your hand like it's a racket, and when you're ready, pass it back. She focused on the feeling of the volleyball, a smooth, cold surface that was perfectly round and pleasant to the touch. With the flick of her fingertips, the blue and yellow ball landed back in Kageyama's hands, who immediately passed it along to Yachi, the first-year manager, with a request to throw it up for him. Run when you see where the ball is going to go, the black-haired boy instructed. A small step from your right foot, then bigger leaps before bringing both your feet together to jump as high as you can with your right arm behind you, like you're gonna do a tennis serve. Wayan nodded, inching back to the middle of the court as the blonde girl tossed the ball upward. Kagayama bent his hands backwards at the wrists the slightest bit, giving an extraordinary soft brush of his fingers that somehow sent the ball spiraling far upwards. Run, now! He yelled, and the girl nodded, sprinting just as he had instructed, letting her arms fly behind her as the other spikers did. Wayan took one final step forwards. When she was approaching the net, sticking her feet together and leaping upwards, her left hand positioned forwards to aim. She smashed her hand down, and... The soft sound of a ball dropping to a hardwood floor with no force echoed through the gym as Wayne glanced to her right, at the ball rolling away from her. Her fingers hadn't even brushed the ball. She stumbled and landed back on the floor, collapsing on her side to her knees. I told you so, Kageyama said without even a hint of sympathy. You owe me a week's worth of milk. Pushing herself upwards, the setter was surprised at the fierce determination in Wyan's eye-colored eyes. You can't just give me one. Try again. Blinking, he inclined his head the slightest bit, turning to Yachi and bowing. Please keep throwing for us. Uh, of course. The blonde girl stuttered, running back to the basket of balls giving Wyan a moment to analyze Kageyama as she had been asked to do. 
Evidently, he wasn't a total prick, because he was polite, and he was putting up with her absolute failure to spike a volleyball. Again, and again, and again. Last ball, Yachi called at around 8.30pm, as she somewhat clumsily threw the volleyball to Kagiyama, who pushed it upwards deftly. Now why in? Now why in? He yelled, and she almost didn't run from the surprise of him using her first name. But she pushed off a small step forward, a small step followed by three larger ones, before she pulled her feet together and sprung upward. For the first time, the ball was perfectly positioned before her open palm, and she smacked it downwards, feeling exhilaration flood every cell of her body as it bounced in the back corner of the court with a loud enough noise to make Yachi squeal. Yes! She cheered landing awkwardly and stumbling forwards, latching onto Kageyama's shoulder so she didn't fall. Wayan blushed as she looked upwards, her hands not moving from where they'd slid down to his chest. That was awesome! You're an amazing setter! Kageyama gave a tiny chuckle, letting his hands rise up to rest on her shoulders. You're an okay spiker. Ow, shit! She laughed, breaking away from him, but flashing a smile as she jogged to pick up the balls. See? We can help each other. Huh? Kagayama stood alone on the court as she ran off to refill her water bottle. The blonde manager having left immediately after her last toss. Help each other? Something Daichi had said came back to him as he spun a ball in his palms off his hands kicking the others into a corner. Volleyball isn't just about winning yourself, or about working alone. That's why there are six players. All this time, he said quietly to himself, the girl who worked alone was trying to help me work in a team. The girl in question ran back onto the court, and without hesitation, Kagayama ran up to her, slamming his hand into the wall above her head and letting the volleyball in his arms drop loudly. She looked up at him with confusion and a little fear in her eyes. What are you doing? Okay, intense. I wasn't here yesterday. Forgive me for that, please. Um, like, I'm okay. So, first of all, first of all, let's break it down. Ready? Kageyama is angry because Wayan is being a hypocrite. I understand that. However, what I don't understand. So is she moving or not? Like, I'm so confused. So, okay, okay. So is she going to work with Kageyama in hopes of being able to trust a partner again, yeah? And then she's gonna, like, use that in her um, doubles? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm not going to read the next chapter <laughs> after I finish recording and uploading because, like... First of all, I need to know what happens, okay? You guys can wait, okay? Or you can, like, click the link in the description. The fanfiction's in there, you know, always. But yeah, that is the end of this video. Um, Have a good night, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, whenever you are. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. I give my word. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with chapter 7.